G'day guys, today I want to show you how I tie the FG knot. Here's one that I tied before. Nice and neat, goes through your guides really easily. Got a little tiny tag in there. You don't really need that, you can cut that off if you want. So here we go, I'll show you how I do it. And there's a few mistakes people make when they um, tie this knot, but this is how I do it. What I do first, I just grab my braid. I'm using about 40 pound braid here, which is this yellow one. So I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna wrap it, lay it in my hand, wrap it, and bring it up. So it sits like that, just between your pointer finger and your thumb. And then I've got some Black Magic 80 pound leader, tough chase. I'm gonna show you how I join it. First of all, I just lay this on top of it here. Lay it over about, about 40, 50 mil. And then what you do is you just you just twist it. I always pull it up with my teeth, so when I roll it, when I roll the leader through, I just pull it up tight with my teeth and grab it again. And then I just roll it again, pull it up with my teeth, and then I just keep going in and out. Like that. And the idea of pulling it up with your teeth, it pulls it down nice and tight. Because if you were just to wrap it with your fingers, it's not going to pull. It's not going to pull it up nice and tight each time. So I pull it down nice and tight with my teeth. I do this about twenty-five times. There you go. I wrapped that up around about 25 times. You can see it's really nice and tight on there already. It's nice and stiff. And that's just wrapped at the moment. Now, this is where people go wrong. What they do, they start tying their half hitches and tying it off at this point before um, really tightening their knot already. You wanna pull these up as tight as possible, so. I'll leave the tag end to the side and I just grab my braid, give it a couple of wraps in my hand so I can get a good grip of it. And then what I do, I start pulling it up tight and I just let go and just pull it up really super tight like that. You can see how tight those last ones are getting. Don't worry about the other ones coming loose up the end. Just give it a good pull. It's nice and tight now. Okay, so what I do, I unravel it at this point. What you can actually do is cut that tag end of your braid off a bit. Just so you don't have to deal with all that extra length. And just unravel that. And what you wanna do when you get to this point, I usually just vice versa everything here. What you want to do when you get to this point is just unravel your twists. Until you get back down to where it's nice and solid, which is there. See that? I've just taken them ones off, the loose ones, and you can see how tight it is from here. Super tight here. That's what you want to tighten here. You don't want your knot held up here by your half hitches. 
you want it held evenly right through here, that's gonna make you not the strongest. And I see that mistake so often with people tying these knots. So what you wanna do from this point is just lay your main line over next to it like that. And you just wanna do a half hitch, one over top first. So I've just put that over top like that and just feed that one through that. I'll just grab it with my teeth. And see that it's going to pull up right on top of that knot there like that. Then I pull that up nice and tight with my teeth. That one went over top. So this time I want to go underneath. So I, yeah, I went forward. This time I'm going to go backwards. So hold it this way. And then go back through that way. Pull it right up onto that one. And pull it up really hard with your teeth. And then one more over top this time again. I went over top, not underneath. You can do three or four of these, doesn't really matter. I'll do one more. I'll go underneath. See, I've gone over top, underneath, over top, underneath. So they're opposite knots, they just lay neater. Pull that up nice and tight on there. Okay, so what you wanna do now is give it another pull. You can even wet it at this point. You don't have to. You can wet it from the beginning if you want. Just to make sure you're definitely not going to be slippage, but I never really do. Pull it up nice and tight. <clears throat> That's super tight. Now what you want to do is get your tag end. And cut it off. I usually leave about three, about four mil, four mil of a tag end. And then what you can do here is cut that off and just leave about three mil on there. And you can leave your knot like that if you want. That's never gonna break or pull. Well, it's not pulling the strength isn't here at your at your um half hitches it's all down the back here that's where all your strength is that's where it's pulling from that's it's really wrapped around there tight and it's not going to let go but if you want to go to another step what you can do is you can get a lighter you can hold that tag end and just and just hold it so you can't burn any of the braid. You don't want to burn the braid. It's pretty windy out here, so you just got to give it a tiny little. And what that will do is just that'll just give it a tiny little bubble on the end, just in case it does slip, which it shouldn't anyway. It's just got something to pull against when it does. And with this little tag end here of the braid, what I'll sometimes do, nail polish. You can get a clear, you can get any color. Sometimes I'll paint my jig heads with it. I can get away with having nail polish because I have a daughter. <laughs> but uh, brilliant stuff for um, putting on knots because it's so handy because you can always just reclose it. You just pull it out. Use a, use a little bit of it, 
and then put the lid back on and just throw it in your tackle box. So what I do, normally is just get a little bit. And I don't want I don't put barely any any on it. All I want to do is just put some on that tag end. So what I do, I just put a little bit on like that. And then what I do just with my fingers is just roll it around. And you'll find that that's enough just to put a little bit on it. It's just glued it around the knot there. Just this tiny little bit there. And you just got to give that a couple of seconds to dry. dries pretty quick this stuff so by the time you put your nail polish back in your bag give it a bit of a breathe on that's it beautiful sleek knot you'll find that knot's never going to let you down so strong stronger than it's stronger than um the two main lines put together like if it's going to break somewhere it won't break it you're not your leader will give way first or your braid that's the beauty about this knot it actually strengthens it puts a strong point in your line you'll never have that break there So there you have it guys let me know if that's how you tie your knots but but yeah you don't need to go too fancy but that's a simple easy way to tie it and you can do that on the boat easy all right guys till next time get out there and get amongst it and sit at home and tie some knots that's how you really get good at knots is just sit down at a table like this and just tie a heap of knots. That's what I do. That's how my knots have always gotten really good over time. Because without good knots, you haven't got a lot when it comes to fishing. You need to rely everything on your big knots for all your quality big fish. Otherwise you're gonna lose fish time and time again if you don't have good knots. Till next time guys, see you later. <laughs>